No doubt the pandemic's challenged all educational institutions, but tonight's newsmaker isn't just leading a local college, which happens to be the nation's oldest college for women to be in continuous operation get through the pandemic. Dr. Susan Henking is helping Salem College pivot academically in a way she and others believe will not only help the college survive, but help propel even more women into high demand careers, many of which are dominated by men. There aren't many places in North Carolina that illustrate the transition from winter to spring better than the campus of Salem Academy and College. No doubt the Moravians who founded the place in the late 1700s realized change is a constant. But another change about to happen here is unprecedented in the United States. This sounds very Moravian to me, doing something like this. I agree with you. It goes with lots of the Moravian traditions as well, especially around inclusion and making sure that what we do is change the world in favor of equity. Salem College will soon become the nation's only liberal arts college where the entire four-year academic campus experience will be linked to health careers, specifically preparing women to take leadership roles in health-related fields. We decided on this health leadership thing for some reasons, and those included enrollment, trends, right? Students are interested in it. But funders are interested in it, and that long predates uh, COVID itself. I was going to ask what sort of a role the pandemic played in this. I think it's actually confirming some things that we thought well before the pandemic. So this has been a process of several years of, of getting to the announcement. It's confirmed that science matters, but it's confirmed that it's not just science. It's advocacy. It's the humanities. When I think about how COVID has reinforced my commitment to health leadership, I think about the, the people in emergency rooms who were triaging people and what happens to them later. And when I watch folks like Anthony Fauci and others, right, we see they are fully embedded in all the things that critical thinking, scientific thinking, quantitative literacy, all of those things. The pivot starts this fall. Salem College will roll out three new majors for its 655 students. The health science major will prepare students for graduate programs like medicine, nursing, and physical therapy. The health humanities major will help direct students to graduate programs or jobs in areas like public health policy, education, and law. And like the name suggests, the health advocacy and humanitarian systems major will focus on the human element. So you'll see not-for-profit management, law school, the kind of advocacy work people do with individuals to make sure they get um, access to health. Will Salem continue to be a liberal arts college? Yes. And that's because Liberal arts education provides things like critical thinking, quantitative literacy, the ability to communicate well, scientific literacy, creativity, ethics. Those are our core liberal arts values. And we're going to accomplish them through, through the lens of health. If I were interested in majoring in English, I would probably need to look somewhere else, correct? The answer to that is it depends on which English you want to major in. So our health humanities major incorporates courses from the English department. Current students won't have to change majors, but we'll get what Dr. Hinking calls extras that have health focuses. All of higher education is asking themselves, how will we survive? And our board and our campus made the judgment, this is how we will survive. And it's partly by meeting a need for students and donors that, and meeting a public good. Dr. Henking doesn't anticipate any major changes in teaching faculty at Salem. If anything, Salem College will be able to add faculty with the help of a $5 million anonymous grant announced last month, the largest gift in the institution's history. Again, the phase in of this academic pivot starts this fall. And for more information, including a direct link to Salem College's website, just look for the story in the newsmaker section of our website, myfox8.com.